Quite a few people have asked me about my beginnings in sewing and how I learned. I'm still learning though, so today we're going to talk about it a little. As I said before, I grew up in a house where my grandma saw, but when I wanted to learn, she was quite old and couldn't see well, so she couldn't teach me. And I started reading blogs. The first one is Susanna's blog, Adventures in Dressmaking, which was a beautiful blog about sewing and all the garments she made. She even made her wedding dress, a 1950s style with a big skirt with tulle, really pretty. And I remember she even published a book about customizing your stuff and making the most of your wardrobe, changing things, cutting stuff you don't use and making the most of stuff basically. After a few years she changed the name and the blog is called Now Create Enjoy and it's more about decor and maternity as well. And I remember back in the time when Pinterest started, it was uh, you could join it only by invitation. If someone that was already in, I don't know how, uh, invited you, you could get in. And I remember I sent her a request and she invited me. So that was my Pinterest beginnings as well. The second one I remember quite clearly is Crogram Fabulous. I remember I used to learn a lot with her because it was quite informative and nice. She's still around, I checked. Another girl I still follow on Instagram is Kate from Seacate Saw. I used to love her tutorials and she used to make and still does because I think she has like four children, uh, all these little stuff for them and it's quite nice. You can learn quite a lot by these little projects and they're really useful. And the last blog I remember by name is Merrick's Art because I still follow her. I think she used to sew more than she does now and she used to make these pretty dresses and t-shirts and I remember following her pieces of advice when doing my own. Yet this new blog for better sewing it's another must and it's perfect if you like uh, all this vintage style sewing and patterns because I think she has her own patterns and even books. And I remember another blog, not by name sadly, I've been looking around to see if I had it uh, written down, but I don't. And it was a girl from the, the United States and she used to name the dresses she had. She had beautiful dresses, you couldn't choose. And there was this one she used to call the Mom, where's your the sleeve dress? And it was quite funny because her little girl used to call her that. If you know the name of the blog, please let me know that in the comments because I would really like to follow it again. And of course, while you're reading a blog, stop when you don't get something and look it up and that way your reading will be really productive. Talking about reading, I learned a lot by buying a few books about sewing. I did a whole video about my sewing books a while ago and I link it here and down below in the description box so you can have a look. Of course, another important part of sewing is to get close to your sewing machine, to get friendly with it. And you can do that by making cushions, curtains or fixing stuff you have around. Uh, taking trousers up or hemming new skirts or things like that. Things that get you confident with your sewing machine so the next step will be to cut fabric. And when you start sewing you're always afraid of ruining a nice piece of material so I always recommend and I still do it looking in the Renman box in your fabric store. It's amazing the stuff you can find in there. I know the pieces aren't as big as you might like, but it's a good way to learn because you're not afraid of ruining everything. And this is a good example of Renman sewing. I still go in the Renman box and go crazy in there and it's because I like making the most of stuff and trying to use everything. Once I was brave enough to cut fabric, I invested in two books from Burda that bring patterns. So it's quite good to start because uh, you get everything you need. 
The problem with patterns is that the sizes are very general. So because I'm thin and I was even thinner before having the baby, uh, I find that they don't fit me quite well. So that's why I decided to invest on an adjustable mannequin. I love draping on the mannequin. It's quite fun because you drape the fabric, you cut and that's it, that's your piece. And you don't need uh, any papers. The only problem I have is that it's very stiff, obviously, and for example, if you're going to try something on yourself, you move your body and you can fit in the garment quite easily. But the mannequin uh, doesn't move, so uh, in order to take something on or off, it's sometimes a bit of a struggle. But it's really good, I love using it and I don't regret buying it. And I even made my wedding dress with her, so it's quite good. And after I made my wedding dress, it was when I realized I had to study a bit of pattern making. And uh, it was when I bought my the four books I have for patterns and um, blocks. They're quite good, they're really mm, dense. You have to read them really slowly and go back and forth and look for something you're working on and leave it there and things like that. It's like uh, proper books for studying something. But I'm quite pleased with them and now I'm starting to like it. And about patterns, you can always check on Buddha Style's uh, website and Colette Patterns was quite good as well. I remember liking that as well. And nowadays with all the information we have around us, it's really easy to see a lot and do really little, but well, we'll try to improve that. So uh, I'll leave you down in the description box, I'll leave you all the links or accounts I really like following and i leave my own Instagram, although the name has appeared a few times in the video, but I leave it down there and I leave you as well the link for a video I did a few months ago about my YouTube, uh, no, my wardrobe before YouTube or the things I've sewn before YouTube so you have a look and don't forget to leave in the comments uh, any accounts you like following or any blogs you know that are special and don't forget to subscribe either so you don't miss anything next week bye